Make sure to never miss another video by subscribing. Hit the bell to enable notifications. Hit the check mark, save, and if you enjoy the video, leave a like. Hey, what's going on, guys? My name is Panther 11 and look at what I learned how to do. I learned how to hide the thing. Uh, it's your favorite late night YouTuber. We back in this place playing some Planet Zoo. Look at look, I could. I learned that. Uh, so yeah, we we back in our zoo and it's grown a lot, and you guys can tell a little bit. We have a hundred thousand dollars. We're in year twenty three. We have almost 1,700 people in the park, and we got 1,050 conservation credit things. We are doing big moves, money moves. That's what we do every single day. Um, but, yeah, so we out here. And uh, over here, as you can see, our zoo is growing. It's growing. Uh, so let's see. Uh, any updates uh, in this part of the zoo? So uh, we've had our babies. I don't know if I showed you guys last time or not. Uh, but they they have grown up, for sure. Um, but we have another new set of babies. It looks like we have four. We have a set of eight babies in here. Dang, that's insane. These guys just produce like crazy. Uh, so she's ten. He's she's twelve, and he's fourteen. So we are gonna need some new ones soon. Um, we have. Uh, a couple in here. I think we need to buy either a male or a female. Um, as you can see, I'm, I'm, I'm starting to buy stuff for new exhibits, like these black bears. I'm saving up. I'm going to tell you my plan with them in one second. Um, let's see. We have one female warthog. Oh, do we only have the female warthog? Okay, so we need, a, we need to buy a male warthog because we can't use any of these because her family is in here, I believe. Right? That's her dad, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> yeah, yeah, so that's in... Yeah, so definitely don't want to do that. Um, <clears throat> uh, but yeah, so I bought black bears. I have a couple new grizzly bears here. This is our baby uh, from our last pair. And this is our other baby. He's a little bit older, so we have two generations from the same parents stored it up and ready to go. Even though, honestly, this guy, the boy, is not that good. So I think we might sell him like we might put him back in the cage let him grow up and then sell him and we'll buy a new boy grizzly bear uh, we also have this older uh, female grizzly bear here uh, for some point uh, I've been buying hippos um, so that we can start a hippo thing uh, we got mandrills uh, and we got some good lemurs let me let me show you how good these lemurs are. this guy's name is literally keep me uh, so he's a hundred percent he's pretty good like we could probably list him actually on the marketplace and get money for him uh, this one, this one is insanely good. 100% size, 92% longevity, 100% fertility, 100% immunity. She is amazing. Uh, and then we got this one who's decent. We can probably sell her, maybe. Because I think these guys are all siblings, I think. And then we got a couple of wolves here as well. Uh, but let me tell you my plan. So we have a couple, we have uh, eight little warthogs in there. We got this grizzly bear, and I know it's going to sound bad, but we're just kind of waiting for her to die. Uh, <laughs> yeah. So her children are both in the trade center. We'll probably release, we'll probably let Walcott grow up and release him, like I just said. And we'll keep Zaddy and we'll buy a new daddy. <laughs> see that? See what I did there? Um, but yeah, so she's she's in her last little bit she's given us two children her 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 husband has died um but she gave us three kids uh i think was that it was that really what she gave but anyways i think we're gonna transition this habitat into the the other black bear that we have the formosian black bear i think we're gonna throw him throw them in here because i want to make the grizzly bears a way cooler habitat actually i want to check something uh, yeah, so it is still the, 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 pol <laughs> the polar bear, the grizzly bear, that is the most appealing. Um, but, I think I want to make the grizzly bears a way cooler habitat, I want to try to make a really cool habitat, so, I think we're going to put the black bears in here, because we don't want to waste this habitat, of course, and then we're going to make a nice, big, uh, grizzly bear a habitat. Uh, over here we got our buffalo, our bison, actually, is how they're, what they're called. Uh, we added another female from the the market and they've been having some kids i don't think anything's grown up fully yet uh over here we still have this of course we just still got our singular komodo dragon we're not really trying to make any kids with them we're just she's just kind of chilling here 
Uh, I think next time we will get a pair of Komodo dragons and do some Komodo dragon breeding, because, you know, why not? But we'll let her live her life first. Uh, so over here, we're on to a little bit of a newer area. I guess wolf update. Uh, so our pair grew up, and they actually had a baby together. Uh, so brother and sister had a baby. It's not good. So I missed it. So we sold the... The, the 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 siblings that all grew up together <laughs> and uh, we now have their kids that are sitting here and they didn't get too heavily impacted this is like their stats look kind of bad but I mean their parents weren't that good either uh, so we, we're gonna sell all of them off and we're gonna start fresh with our wolves um, with one of the old pairs walk walkfield was the good one that we have uh, and we'll probably, I, I think this, yeah, this one's just off the thing. So we'll probably have Maple and Walkfield. And hopefully it'll get a little bit bigger size and whatnot. Uh, but yeah, that's our wolf update. I'm half considering making a new wolf pen, but I really like that exhibit. Uh, but anyways, oh no, this we had this last time too. So this is our, our red lemur breeding. And as you can see there, one's about to mature. Uh, so we've already sold a couple of these guys off. And uh, you can see they've also been escaping, like for some reason uh, so we'll go ahead and unbox them first thing um, but we have a whole bunch of little baby lemurs in here and uh, they sell for a hundred something credits each we'll, we'll, we'll do some releasing today um, so then over here that's a new quarantine building uh, we've also been putting these uh, recycling bins I've heard they give you uh, conservation credit points if people use them so I guess we'll see what happens if people use them we'll see uh, but we have a new food court area. Uh, it's our third one in the park. Right? One, two. Yeah. It's our, th it's our third one in the park. Uh, this one has a little bit of variety. It has pizza pen and gulpy slushies. I don't know who would want pizza and slushies together, but you can get it. We also got a hat store in just a momento, and I don't really know what that sells. Bags? Oh, it just looks like gifts, maybe? I don't know. But she in there selling stuff. We got a hat store here. Buy rhino hats and stuff. Uh, that should do they had big lines earlier. This is really new uh, It's only been in here for a little bit uh, In here we have another stupid snake a yellow con uh, yellow and a conda uh, I hate snakes <laughs> uh, But she's doing good. Is it he? He doing good? He's doing good. Uh, we can go ahead and help you out there, bro. We can we've been researching for Get 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 off of there. Who put you up there, bro? Look at it. Look, that's why I hate snakes. You never know where they're gonna strike from. <laughs> uh, so yeah, we we got a new anaconda in here, and he's made a little bit of money so far. We're only in February, so fifty bucks through two months. It's whatever. Um, oh, actually, yeah, that reminds me. We had our over here our death adder in here died, so we got a new one. Uh, we got a new one named Yuman. Yuman? I don't know. Uh, but we have a new a new death adder. Uh, so Dan, over here. Oh, we've been putting these education signs around because I want people to be educated. They donate more money when they're educated. Uh, actually, uh, I noticed uh, earlier. Remember, I think it was last time we put donations in between like these things. I think we guess we'll just randomly donate. So let's just throw some around here. Let's put one here. And you know why not? Like they're not doing anything to us. Um, but yeah, new food court here. And then finally, we have ourselves a brand new exhibit. Uh, the Inadsalasia Peefollow. It's the it's the peacocks, the pe peefollow. What how do you how do you like? peefowls? Indian peefowls. Uh, and as you can see, I just really spoiled it, but <laughs> whatever. We have an albino one. I think we bought this guy on camera last time. It's not albino. It's uh some word that I can't remember off the top of my head some long word basically says they get white white pigmented like skin um but yeah this guy is our boy his name's Ryan um and hopefully he'll produce some more of the white peacocks so that we can sell them off maybe I don't know we'll see uh, but I've heard these guys are good for the breeding, too. Uh, so we're, they're working currently on their enrichment. There's two males, two females in here. Maybe we should cut a couple more females thinking about it. So let's see if there's any for sale. Uh, oh, yeah. Uh, I, that's another spoiler. I just completely skipped over them, actually. So we'll go back there in, in a second. <coughs> oh, sorry. I just died on you. Uh, so let's buy... 
a couple females. Um, this one's a good one. So we'll adopt her. And move her in for sure. And... I mean, she's not bad. Um... Would I rather have... Do I want her? I mean, sure, she's a hundred bucks. Why not? Um, I don't know how... I forget if there's two males. I guess let's look at the Zoopedia. Is it something bad happen if we have two males in there? Four females... Or four males, 16. So, one to four. So, they would need... There's only one that would have that. So, we need two more females, I believe. So, I guess let's just buy two more females. Sure. I think that's how that works. Uh, so I guess let's just we'll not even look at these guys. We'll just buy them You know, they're 150 bucks each. So whatever sure they can be bought um, I guess so let's move them our animal trading and Then I have one more exhibit to show you guys uh, So let's move Into the quarantine over here. I don't know if this actually does anything. I just heard you're supposed to do this So <laughs> we're doing it uh, I'm assuming if they have some kind of disease or something, they'll they'll get rid of it in this. And it won't get the rest of your population sick. Even though, at this point, I've pretty much researched everything. So nobody's really going to get, like, seriously bothered. Because we have pretty much every disease researched. Uh, so let's go ahead and go next. And then I have one more exhibit to show you. Then we're going to click play and we're going to see what happens. Uh, so let's put everybody in there. There we go. And well, I think we're good. Yes, one, two, three, four. Okay, so yeah, we're gonna move four new females in there, which will put us at. Wait, that's not even the right, bro. What? We need so we have two, so we need one to four, so we need eight females. That's only gonna put us at six, so we still need to buy two more. If I'm if I'm thinking of uh, this is how this works, right? Oh, here, here we go. Perfect. Two more. One. Two. Yeah, see? We did it. <laughs> uh, so I guess we'll just queue these guys up to go into there as well. Uh, and then, uh, I'll finally show you guys. Uh, so this one, it's not that good, but whatever. It's okay. Uh, so one in, one in there. And then, I need the last one, please. In and out, in and out. In and out. Trade Center, here we go. So this is the last one. This one's actually a pretty decent one. Everything's over 50. We're at 50 or over, so that's not bad. All right, one quick interruption from my dad, and we're back. So, uh, what was I doing? <laughs> I think I was getting ready. So I moved everybody to the quarantine, but we have to click play for that. So the last thing I wanted to do was I wanted to show you guys this new exhibit right here that I just, I guess I just completely forgot about. So we got a new bathroom here. Uh, so we got bathroom here, bathroom here, bathroom there, bathroom here. And that's all we got. So I feel like we probably need to put another bathroom over on this side somewhere. So we have bathrooms kind of all over. Uh, but yeah, that way it's just available. I don't want no big old long Disney lines for your bathroom. Uh, but we got little turtles, uh, tortoises. Uh, Al Aldebera giant tortoise. Uh, these guys live to be like 120 or something years old. Uh, and we've got three females and a male in here. So they should be making kids forever. <laughs> And they should give us... I think we had to wait a long time for these guys to be able to be sold, though. Uh, let's see. Zoopedia. They... We can't release them to the wild until 25 years. So that's the problem with the turtles. Uh, so we'll, I, I don't really know what we're going to do with them. Because they're going to become a problem really quick. Um, but we'll see. I, if they keep breeding the heart crazily, this is going to become full really quick. We might need a little like habitat for them to grow up where nobody's looking at them or maybe people can even look at them I don't I don't know if that bothers people seeing the same animal twice uh, but yeah that's pretty much everything we've done so let's go ahead and hit play let's get ready to sell off our are we going oh that's so scary uh, so we're gonna we, 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 we're gonna go ahead and get ready to sell off our lemurs that should be maturing we've got to find them that's the hard part about this is finding them uh, so that guy's 2.7. So point. We need three more years. Uh, point three more. So three more months. I don't. I don't know why that was so weird for me to say. Uh, 2.8. So this one should do good. Oh, she's good fertility. So she's gonna be really good. Look at these guys, by the way. Look, they just jump up on their habitat. They don't even use the nice little like climbing area that I got them. No, they want to climb on their little thing. Their little. Uh, their little house. <laughs> 
Uh, but there's a ton of lemurs in here. Like these things are, if you really want to get conservation credits, make the investment in these guys for sure. Uh, they do, they they do really good. Uh, so let's see. 2.8. I think it's three. Three years they do it. Uh, they mature. Uh, 2.5. Why why are you taking so long? Hello. You need to get up out of my zoo, sir. This is, I don't know, maybe they just have a little bit where sometimes they don't on time. I don't know. Uh, we'll give them some time. Oh, wait, we have warthogs maturing too? Oh, bro, this is this is all kinds of bad. Okay, uh, let's, let's, let's keep it playing. Uh, I want to go check on the warthogs. Which warthogs are about to mature already? Oh, our red lemurs are maturing. So 1.6, 1. 1. Oh yeah, wow, these guys are already getting ready to go. Okay, cool. What are you... What is that? Are you tracking to some weird mud stuff in here? What are you doing? Uh, so 12.1, 1. 1. 1. Yeah, so we're gonna have warthogs and these lemurs to sell real quick. So let's see. These guys, they should have all gone, but maybe not. Uh, so let's see. Uh, 2.8, you're still not ready? Okay. 2.8, you are ready. And we don't want you, so let's sell you. She should give us a lot. 152, that's what I like to see. There we go. So she's gone. Uh, 2.8. Maybe that's why they're taking a longer time. They see all their like siblings just being sold off as soon as they hit a certain age. So they're like, no, I'm not going to grow up. That's <laughs> that's what I'd do. Uh, so let's let's just keep it playing here for a second. We'll let our warthogs grow up. And we're going to watch these guys. So they should grow up soon. Uh, oh, there we go. They're already growing. So this guy's 2.8. Uh, he's pretty good. Let's, let's keep an eye on him. Let's see. So what do we have? Do we have a good male? I forget. Or was it just a good females? This guy was pretty good. 83. Yeah. Uh. So apparently what you really want to look for is the size and the longevity. And the rest don't really matter. They kind of just, they're random. But you really want to get the size and longevity. So. Yeah, I, I guess we'll, we'll go ahead and sell him. He should do good. Good luck out there in the wild, bro. 137 credits. That's what I like to see. Uh, so yeah, these lemurs are insanely good, and they should have a couple of years left of this. Uh, this is 150. I don't know if we wanted that guy. I don't remember looking at his stats. <laughs> uh, so 2.1, 16.2, 2.1. So we have a couple more, and it could be from four months to a like another year. Uh, I guess we'll see. Uh, so there's some more over here. Let's make sure we. Sold everybody that's supposed to be sold. 0. 0.4. 0. 0.4. I just don't want anybody to, like, fight or anything. Alright, good. So they're all good. So now we're up to 1,500 almost conservation credits. That's really good. Uh, we might be able to get it with these warthogs. Uh, so two, you're not ready yet. Are you ready? Oh, look at all these warthogs. There's so many. They always come right when the inspector comes. And it drops their welfare a little bit. So we always get four stars in this exhibit. Uh, do we... Do we sell that guy? Ma... Uh, Hovi... Tahiri... Tahiri? <laughs> I don't know how to say his name, bro. Uh, yes, I think we got them all. So let's... Okay, y'all gonna just go eat. You gonna eat my food before you guys get shipped away? Alright, fair enough. You know what? I'd do the same thing. Uh, so two years... Alright, y'all need to grow up so I can end this video. Come on. Come on. 1.6. Yeah, we're gonna sell off like a whole bunch of these little piggies. Eating. Dang, y'all act like you never get fed. I know y'all get fed. Y'all cost a lot of money. Uh, so maybe once they're done eating, they'll grow up. Huh? Ready? Is it time? No. Uh, so let's see. Our, our peacocks are passing. Uh, there they go. They're maturing now. Uh, so we got our tortoise completed. So we can start doing our peacocks. There we go. And our anaconda is getting there. Uh, so let's give it a second so everybody matures. So let's see, your two. So these guys don't give nearly as much, by the way. They only get yeah, 16. Uh, let's see, so 1.7, 1.7, uh, two. You are ready to go. Goodbye. Thanks for coming, 16. I'll take it. Uh, 1.7, 1.7, 14.9, 11. Where's the, I feel like we're missing a whole bunch of little warthogs, and I don't know where. Here's one. Your two. You're not ready yet. Uh, we're gonna put you back in the microwave for a little bit. Uh, but yeah, I think that's gonna be it for this episode. We'll go ahead and click play so we can 
sell her. Uh, so we should have a total of four babies, right? And three adults. Okay, yeah, goodbye. Thanks for, thanks for, oh, he was 31. Was he good? Or she good? Uh, let's cancel that. Let's pause and let's see. Was she good? Eh, just good. Yeah, we can, we can get rid of her. I'll take the 31. Uh, so we should have one, two, three, four, and then, oh, so one of these guys is an adult. Or shouldn't be here, I don't think. 11, 2. Here we are. Uh, Fola. All right, there we go, and boom. So now we got a whole bunch of conservation credits today. We can slowly start working towards getting pandas. Uh, the pandas are very difficult to breed, by the way. I've learned. <laughs> uh, I mean, just like in real life, which is part of the reason they're going ex Ooh, another Ryan. Hello. I got you for, like, a lot cheaper last time. Uh, so let's... I want to check before we go. I want to look at the pandas. And if there's any decent ones on the market. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I can see that we're very far out. This is an albino mother, apparently. I don't know. I would just title my things albino. That's 10,000. 296. And it's really not that good. Like the fertility for the pan. Like usually it's not too much problem because you, like you're research when you're researching, you can get more. Uh, but we can get them for 400. Do we take the risk? Do we do it? It's a big investment, but you know what? We're gonna... Uh, we're gonna do it. You know what? Screw it. Uh, screw, uh, wait, hold on. Let's sort by price so we don't... Did, what did I get? A male or a female? So I think we need a male. So we definitely want this guy. So let's get... Wait, 33, 33. Yeah, we definitely want this guy. So, 296 and 211. So, we now have our pandas. Um, if I bought the, the right pair. I did. Uh, so, 9.7, 9.3. I believe we're only going to need two of them, right? I hope you'll need two. Up to 10 males, 10 females. Uh, only fertile two to three days a year. Bro, dang. No wonder they're extinct. Pandas are just born to be extinct. Uh, they... Oh, they're only vulnerable now. They're not critically endangered anymore. Okay, that's cool. Um, but yeah, I think that's gonna be it for this episode. If you guys did enjoy, make sure you hit that like button. Uh, next time we could have pandas coming your way. We have, so they're about halfway through the life already? Dang. Alright, but anyways, I hope you guys did enjoy this episode of Planet Zoo. If you guys did, make sure you hit that like button. Remember, it's your favorite late night YouTuber, so hit me up, uh, with a like. I don't know what I'm saying, bro. Leave me alone, okay? I'm gonna get rid of that grass that's in our path. Uh, but yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you guys did enjoy. Love you guys. And I hope you have a good night, good morning, enjoy school, finish your homework. Uh, yeah. All right, bye.